Today I'm going to be making a missiles tier list. Before I get started, I just want to say that my pronunciation is garbage, so I may pronounce some of the names wrong. And also this tier list is mainly judged off the designs of the show and not the Lego set. That could be a different video. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> First one is Aquad. Aquad first premiered in the episode Nissle Nissle Go Away. He has a large nose, one eye, it seems to be based on the airplane. He also has a fireman helmet because he works for the fire department in Misopolis. Um, design wise, I really like him, so let's do. Let's put him in A. Really a shame he didn't really appear that much, but what can you do? The next one is Bulk. Balk is a Fletzer missile and first premiered in the episode Missile Nits Over. Balk is a little dumb and he's very playful. Design wise, he's not really my favorite, so let's put him in C. Alright, next is Burt. Burt premiered in the episode A Quest for the Lost Missile Majig. And he's also part of the Muncher Tribe. He has a garbage shaped mouth with a black top lip and it's basically a walking talking blender. Okay, where I'm gonna put him? I'll put him at a B. Okay, next is Boogly. And he's from the Gloki tribe. Boogly first premiered in the episode, Missile Moon Madness. Boogie has very strong teeth and he can bite through anything and he also can levitate. As for personality, he acts like a giant snob. He also complains a lot and he's also a little dumb. Design wise, eh, not really my favorite. Doesn't really feel like it stands out that much, to be honest. The appendages on the side kind of look weird to me and kind of out of place. So I give him a D. Okay, next we have Bernard. Bernard first premiered in the episode, Missile Moon Madness. When Bernard laughs, he has this habit of spilling flames out of his mouth. Personality-wise, he's a little bit of a prankster. Design-wise, I really like him, especially the unibrow they gave him. Let's put him here. So the next one is Busso. Busso first premiered in the episode, Every Night Has His Day, and it's a part of the Misopolis City Police Department, or the MCPD for short, and often lets the people he locks up talk their way into getting free. Design-wise, he's based on the jail cell, if that wasn't obvious. I actually like this design. I give it a, let's give it a B. The next one is Camelot, who also appeared in the episode Every Night Has His Day, and is a part of the Missiles Medieval Tribe. Appearance-wise, he's a gray castle shape with a red flag on the top of his head, and has an axe for a hand. I mean, night themes are cool, but for this design, I gotta give you a D. Sorry, don't like him. He looks like a soda can to me. All right, next is Capsta who's a part of the Nusa tribe. Kansa appeared in the episode, Nissa Nissa Go Away. Kansa is mostly blue and he resembles a news helicopter. He has one single eye inside of a large gray camera lens. His job is to fly around and record events using his camera eye. This is a good design. Combining the camera with the helicopter monster, good design, love it. The next is Chiribu. Chiribu first premiered in the episode, a quest for the lost Missile Majig. He's from the Frosticon Missile Tribe. He's usually the more level-headed one of his tribe. I like this missile design. Not better than Bernard, but it's still good. So I put in a B. Okay, next design is Chomley. Chomley first premiered in the episode Fan Game Long Toss. Chomley drools a lot and also has anger issues. He also has the ability to store objects in his mouth for later use. Design wise, I like giant fangs on monsters, so that's a plus, but I really don't like the color brown that much. No, I'm not being racist. I put him in B. Okay, so the next is Cobrats. Cobrats first premiered in the episode Nissa Nissa Go Away and is a part of the Ninja tribe. Cobrats is very cunning and loves to play with his enemies that hurt him or his friends. He's also a skilled martial artist and his snake like tongue can bite and grab onto objects. I really love this design. This is probably going to be my first S. Next is Compact, who appear in the episode Nissa Nissa Go Away and is a part of the Trash Mode Missile Tribe. Compass is a simple missile who only says one word, crunch, and it's basically just a junk truck missile who was designed to resemble a trash compactor. It's okay, um, I don't really like them, but I put them at a C. The trash compactor still looks better than something that looks like a can. Next is Dribbo. Dribbo is part of Glort Court Missile Tribe and first premiered episode, A Quest for the Last Missile Majig. As the name suggests, Dribble has snot dribbling from his nose. He wears giant glasses and loves to talk. His glasses can also be used as magnifying glasses. And I also like this design. It also reminds me of that nerd emoji people use when they try to correct you. So let's give him a S. Okay, next we have Flame, the leader of the Infernites. Flame first premiered episode Coconut Apple. Flame is very intelligent and brave, and he's also very easygoing. You probably already knew this was coming. I gotta give him an S. 
It kind of reminds me of Firestorm. And also his expression kind of looks like the smug Eddie meme. Next is Flamzer, who's also part of the Infernites. Flamzer is the leader of the Infernites cousins. He is very fast and strong, and it's kind of impossible to catch up to him when he's running away. His tail can also heat up and melt anything when he's angry. Let's see, design wise, I give him B. Okay, so next we have Floor, who's a part of the Frosticons Missile Tribe. Floor is the leader of the Frosticons. He's also very energetic and smart. However, he does have a tendency to easily give up on things he can't solve. He has a dragon-like appearance, and that's the ability to shoot ice out his mouth. I give him a A. I like his appearance and I like dragons. Okay, the next one is Futi. Futi first premiered in the episode Murk Romp and is part of the Spyco Missile Tribe. Futi is a very kind missile and really loves to dance. Specifically, he loves ballet dancing. He loves dancing so much that he was able to incorporate it into his fighting style. Futi has spikes all over his legs and knife-like toes that he uses to fight against enemies. Pretty good design-wise. Would have been an A, but I don't really like the color, so let's do B. The next is Forks, who first premiered an episode, A Quest for the Lost Miss Majig. Forks is a part of the Weddle tribe. Forks is very clumsy, and he loves to smash things. Design-wise, he looks like a goofy grandpa, and I really like his color scheme, so I'm just gonna give him a B. Next is Globert. Globert premiered an episode, Missile Moon Madness, and is the leader of the Glokies. Globert is a little flamboyant and believes that he could dazzle any audience. He also gets very upset when people interrupt him. I know that he thinks that he can impress anyone, but you don't impress me. Sorry, you're a C. You're better than your other tribe member, but still, you're not that great. All right, next is Glomp. Glomp is part of Glork Clorp. Glomp is very energetic and friendly, and he loves to play around and hang out with other missiles. He's also a very loyal friend, but he's also always sick due to his allergies. He also has this ability where his snot can ricochet him into the air and also can store and shoot out objects from his nose. Design-wise, he's cool, but I give him an A. Not better than Dribble, but still a good design. The next one is Glort. Glort is also part of the Glort Corp and is basically the pet dog of the tribe. He loves to play fetch with other members of the tribe. Glorch is also the trash collector and can't eat nearly anything with his garbage collecting mouth. Let's give him a A. Gold was a part of the Fang Game Missile Tribe and appeared in the episode Wrong Colors. He has this habit of acting before he thinks, which usually bites him in the butt. Goba has the ability to make totems and other objects by chewing on logs. He also has a whip-like tongue that's sensitive to taste. Design-wise, eh, it's okay. Let's give it a B. Okay, next we have Gabal, who's also part of the Trash Yo Missile Tribe. Gabal appeared in the episode Nissle Nissle Go Away. Gabal takes care of the really big piles of trash and can gulp down just about anything. And despite his appearance, Gabal is very intelligent. If I'm rating him just appearance wise, I think he's a little better than his other tribe member. So I'll put him upwards to a B. Now that I think of it, I probably should have made another row. There we go. Okay, so the next one is Glock. Glock is from the Cluckers tribe, which is a missile tribe that looks robotic and has a steampunk theme. He appeared in the episode, The Quest for the Lost Missile Majig. Glock is the CEO of Clickerton Incorporated, a company that was famous for making bells and whistles back in the day. He could be described as a money grubbing person and would do anything in order to gain wealth. He's basically the missile version of Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. So that means we have to put him in. Hey, we still have more to go. If you're still watching this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. And also comment down below who's your favorite missile. Okay, so next we have Gurgle, who is also part of Glort Corp. Gurgle appeared in the episode, A Quest for the Lost Missile Majig, and is a fast-talking hothead with a serious sinus problem. Gurgle also has slime coming out of his legs, which is a plus. I like slime and I love the color green, so you know where this is going. Let's give you A tier. I would love to own a whole Glort Corp set, but those sets are kind of expensive now and I'm kind of poor. Okay, so the next one is Huji. Huji is part of the Spiko tribe and is the slowest moving in the whole tribe. Huji is a very kind person and is very expressive over his emotions. Huji has a bulky body, he has well defined jaws and sharp claws that could cut through anything. Design wise, I get him B tier. I also think it's kind of cool in the Spiko tribe that you have a foot guy and you have a guy who's all arms, you know, in order to complement each other. Okay, so next is Hydro, who appeared in the episode Nissle Nissle Go Away. Hydro is a part of the Misopolis Fire Department and has two sprayers on his hands that he can use to spray water with. A talking ladder monster that can spray water at you. I'd be crazy not to get out of A tier. All right, so the next one is Jamzy. Jamzy is a Mitzi, a missile tribe that's based on musical instruments and first premiere in the episode Every Night Has His Day. He's shaped like a guitar and has a soft spoken and relaxed nature. I like the color scheme and you know the rocker premise but I could take it or leave it so I do neutral. Alright so the next one is Jog who is the leader of the fan gang. Jog first premiered in the episode Snow Half Pipe. He's the watchdog and guardian of the fan gang and due to his dog like personality a lot of people think that he's the fan gang's pet despite being their leader. Jog has large indestructible teeth that lets him get powerful bites and his tail can be swung around like a whip. As for design wise eh it's okay. 
I mean, it's not the worst design, but it's not the great either. So I just give it neutral. Okay, so the next one is Jinky, who was a part of the Clinker Tribe. Jinky is a heavy metal star and is well known by most of the other former employees. However, after Clinkerton Incorporated lost its popularity, Jinky gave up on music altogether and became a cool laid back missile. Uh, it's a pretty good design, not too over the top, pretty simple. Looks a little too humanoid, but it's okay. I give it a B. Kamzo is also a part of the Clinker Tribe, which means he works at Clinkerton's Incorporated. Kamzo is very grouchy, but is also a very dedicated worker and will do anything to get the job done. He uses his large hand as a clamp and uses his small hand as a wrench. Eh, I'm neutral on this design. I mean, it's okay, but if I'm being honest, I probably would never buy this set right there. Next is Crater. Crater belongs to the Craster Missile Tribe, which is a tribe that lives in the vast networks of tunnels underground. He first premiered in the episode Coco Napple. Crater is a tough and powerful missile and has a large powerful left hand. However, he's not very smart and he also has anger issues. I like Crater and I'm gonna give him a A. Alright, next is Cram. Cram is from the Weddle Tribe and first premiered in the episode A Quest for the Lost Missile Majig. Cram is the leader of the tribe and a great boss. His jackhammer arm can also be used as a drill. I really like this design and I also like the fact that he's also very very useful so i'm gonna put you in a but the next one is craw craw is the leader of the fletcher tribe he is very smart and has a giant ego and he can use his tentacles to grab and catch things i'm still iffy on the fletcher tribe he does look better than bolt though so i give him a b Krog is from the frosted cons tribe Krog is always hungry and will be seen munching through anything from refrigerators to fire hundreds basically anything in his way Krog loves to talk with other missiles and has a snarky attitude eh I'm neutral on this. Cups is a part of the MCPD and is the leader of his branch. Cups has a large number of arrests and has a habit of arresting everybody for no good reason. Eh, it looks all right. I give it a C. Loot is part of the Pirates Missile Tribe, a tribe that's based on pirates. Loot is a treasure chest crab who's always nervous because he thinks everyone tries to steal his treasure. I like this design. I like the premise of a treasure chest combined with a crab. Whoops. Let's give it an A. Next we have Lunk. This is a part of the Frosticon and it's described as a, um, well, I can't really say that word on YouTube because you know, I get yeeted. Um, he's a rather slow individual if you catch my drift. Lunk also has the ability to sneeze icicles out of his nose. Eh, I'm neutral. I mean, it's okay. The next one we have is Magnifo, who is the leader of the Wistastics and Magical Missile Tribe. Magnifo is an amateur magician and often gets himself in embarrassing situations. He also has a magic wand that he uses to do magic tricks with. And the design is okay. I give him a C. I like the premise and I like the color, but to be honest, he looks like a marker. Okay, so next we have Meltis. Meltis is a part of the Infernite Tribe and has first premiered in the episode, Mr. Moon Madness. Despite his dinosaur appearance, he is very shy. He also has the sniffles because he has an allergy problem. Meltis can also shoot flames from his nose. It can also light the end of his tail on fire. Overall, pretty good design. I kind of like the fire th dinosaur theme, so I give him a B. Next is Mesmo, and is a part of the Wistastic Tribe. Personality-wise, he's seen as the wise senior of the group, but he also has a shy personality. Mesmo uses his wings to fly. It can make magic spells using his tail. Design-wise, I put it in neutral. Not the worst design, but not the greatest either. Next is Mr. Dale, who's a part of the Medieval Missile Tribe. Mr. Dale appeared in the episode, Every Night Has His Day. He's a snobby and irresponsible prince. He treats everyone around him like slaves and only will ever do anything for personal gain. Mr. Dale uses the catapult on his back to launch objects into the sky. He may be an asshole, but his design is way better than Camelot, so I have to give him a C. Next up is Mike. Mike first premiered in the episode, Nissle Nissle Go Away, and it's from the Newser Missile Tribe. Mike is a very important member of his tribe since he's a sound engineer and an editor in Miss Board. Mike does whatever it takes to broadcast the latest news to Miss TV. Appearance-wise, I give it an A. Next up is Misto. Misto first premiered in the episode, Nissle Nissle Go Away and it's the leader of the ninjas, Missile Tribe. Nissel is the wise master. Misto has lightning fast reflexes and is a master of the ancient ninja art and can create an aura that project images. I absolutely love this design. And I'm also a big fan of old man master trope that you see in movies and anime. Okay, so this is gonna be a little different. You'll see what I mean. This version is called Knot. Knot is from the Orbitime Missile Tribe. It first premiered the episode, Missile Moon Madness. The reason why I say this is a little different because this particular missile has two personalities. The one I'm going on right now is called Knot but the other personality is Nerp. Knight is a smart personality, but he's very forgetful. He's also very accident prone, and Nerp acts like a spoiled brat when he doesn't get his way. This missile flies by using the jetpack on his back. He also has the ability to give a miss that he's in more than one personality. I like the space design and I like the concept, so let's put both of these in S. All right, next is Night Spud. Night Spud is the leader of the Orbitons tribe and first premiered the episode, Mr. Moon Madness. Night Spud is a little slow in the head and has a tendency to say he's up for anything. Night Spud uses his jetpack wings to fly in the air. Design-wise, I like him. He looks like a missile version of Elvis. And because of that, I'm gonna give him an S. Next, we have Paladum. Paladum is part of the medieval tribe 
the first premiere of the episode, Every Night Has His Day. Paladin's a flying horse and it's the pet of the Camelot. This is probably the first design I should like of that tribe, so I'm gonna give it a B. So far, I think the Medieval Tribe is my least favorite set. But by the way, let me know your favorite set down below. Next, we have Rocket. Rocket is the part of the Orbitons Missile Tribe and first premiered in the episode, Missile Moon Madness. Rocket is an Orbiton soldier and treats every task very important. Rocket has two attachments on his arms. He can also blast laser beams and has the ability to fly using his jetpack. Design-wise, it's okay. I'm kind of neutral on him, to be honest. Next, we have Scorpy, who's a part of the Spico tribe. Scorpy first premiered in the episode, Epic Comedy Adventure. Scorpy has a curious nature, but rarely tossed other missiles. He's also very easily to frighten. Scorpy uses his pencil-like tail to attack his enemies. Design-wise, I give it a C. Next, we have Screeno. Screeno is from the Nusa tribe, and first premiered in the episode, Nissa Nissa Go Away. Screeno is a director, writer, producer, and reporter for Mitz TV, which is a television channel in the Missile universe. Appearance-wise, I put it in neutral. Next is Seismo. Seismo is from the Craster tribe and first premiered episode, Coconapple. Seismo is described as the most kind-hearted craster. He's also very timid and shy. Seismo has very powerful feet that he can use to stomp down on the ground, which he could use to cause an earthquake or cause an avalanche. I know a lot of people like this guy and I really don't know this is a hot take or not, but design-wise, he's okay, neutral. Shards is the part of the Pyrex tribe and first premiered episode, Nissle Nissle Go Away. He's the captain and it's based on the hammerhead shark. Design-wise, I really like it. A shark pirate with a hook for a hand, what's not to like? Let's give it an S. Shuff is part of the Crestor Tribe and first premiered episode Coco Napple. Shuff is very clumsy and kind of childish. He also likes to collect ceramic dolls and he's also kind of stupid. Shuff can use his body as a wrecking ball and also has the ability to dig underground. Design wise, I like him better than Seismo, but out of the three, I think Crater's still the best. So let's give him a, yeah, let's put him near B. Next we have Scrubs. Scrubs is a part of the Medis Missile Tribe in first premiered episode, Nissle Nissle Go Away. Scrub is a medical kit and is a key member of his team. I'm not gonna lie to you, I do not like it. It feels like it's trying to do too much and also don't like the little light bulbs near his eyes. It looks like a fan. D. Next one is Scozy, who's also part of the Pirates Missile Tribe. Scozy first premiered in the episode, Nissle Nissle Go Away. And just like his name suggests, he's a talking skull pirate. Scozy is always on the lookout for valuable treasure to steal. He also has the ability to store items in his eye socket. I like the Pirates Tribe, but honestly, the Skull Pirate thing has been done so much. I give you a C. Next we have Slumbo, who's a part of the Frosticons. Slumbo first premiered in the episode, Barbie Cubes, and is one of the laziest members of the Frosticon tribe. He's also very cynical and cold towards others. This is literally me. Slumbo has incredible strength and also has icy breath that can freeze things. This guy sounds very based, not gonna lie, but design wise, I'm not very impressed. See, next we have Slusho. He has the ability to fly and can also drift slime from his wings. I give it a B. What's cooler than a slime dragon? Next one up is Snacks. Snacks is a part of the Macho Missile Tribe, a purple missile tribe that's obsessed with food and eating. Snacks has the ability to store large amounts of food in his cheeks. Like I mentioned before, I like purple, but design-wise, I'm neutral on it. Snoop is a part of the Frosticons and it has appeared in the episode, A Quest for the Lost Miss Majig. He has a very curious personality that often gets him in a lot of trouble. Snoop has skis on his feet and can blast ice from the exhaust pipes on the back of his butt to make him move faster. Design wise, it's pretty good. I give it a B. Next we have Spenza, who's a part of the Ninja's Missile Tribe. Spenza first premiered in the episode, Nissle Nissle Go Away, and is the most playful member we've seen so far. He's a skilled martial artist and is very agile. He also likes to use his katanas in combat. Design wise, I like it, but not as much as other members of his tribe. So let's give him an A. Okay, so next we have Splash Show. Splash Show is the leader of the MCFD, and it's basically just a walking fire hydrant. Since he's a fire hydrant, he can spew a lot of water out of his mouth. Design wise, I will go with neutral because you know, he's just a fire hydrant. That's pretty much it. His other teammates have better designs in my opinion. All right, next is Spug. Spug is from the Lister tribe, a tribe that's known for their long tongues. Spug is very aggressive towards other missiles. He's also very playful. Let's give him a C. Next is Sergio who is the leader of the Madness Missile Tribe. Sergio first appeared in the episode, Nissle Nissle Go Away. He has a hyper personality and he never sleeps. And he performs operations at Misopolis Hospital. Design wise, I really like this one. I love the syringe arm and I also like the monster doctor motif they're going for. So let's give him A. All right, next we have Sweeps. Sweeps is a part of the Trash Show Missile Tribe. First premiere in the episode, Nissle Nissle Go Away. Sweeps is described as a missile that gets easily distracted. 
which can cause a delay and clean up messy areas. He seems to be like a spray bottle type monster and has like a broom like tail. Let's put it in B tier. Tassie is a member of the Mitzi tribe, the musical tribe in the Missile Universe. Tassie is the quiet type and doesn't really say that much. He seems to be a mixture of a drum and some crap like monster. I give it a C. Like it's a good design, but it's not great. Tentro is part of the Flesher tribe and first appear in the episode How Monyo Conveyor Belt Madness. Tentro is described as a strong and smart missile who often likes to be alone and can use his tentacles like whips. For this, I give it a C. His description sounds cool, but honestly, he feels like he's missing something. Our right, next is Teslo, who's the leader of the Electroid. Teslo is described as a very smart and mature leader and cares deeply about his tribe. He can use the end of his tail as a flashlight and also as a taser to attack enemies. Design wise, I gave him a B. I would have put him at a C, but I like the taser tail. Next is T Cats, who is a part of the MCPD and appeared in the episode Every Night Has His Day. He seems to be based on a motorcycle. He is usually seen holding on to two wheels that gives him a motorcycle like appearance. Design wise, a pseudo motorcycle monster cop. Not bad. I give it a B. All right, next is Torts. Torts is a part of Glork Clorp and first appearing episode Mert Romp. He's considered the slowest of the group and loves to goof off. Torts has a very cheerful nature and can easily make friends with anyone. He also has the ability to shoot slime out of his hands. If it's not obvious right now, I really like the Glork Clorp, but for this design, I gotta go with neutral. Next is Trumpsy, who's a part of Mitzi's. Trumpsy appeared in the episode Every Night Has His Day and is a missile that's based on a trombone. For this, I'm gonna give it a B. Would have been a C, but I think the cheats on it are funny. The next one is Tungster, who's a part of the Lister tribe and first appeared in the episode A Quest for the Lost Missile Majig. Tungster can fly up high into the sky. While in the air, Tungster likes to use his tongue to lick up his opponents. He can also use his tongue as a vine to swing through trees. Design wise, I give him an A. Next is Turk who's also part of the Litzers, and also first appearing in the episode, A Quest for the Lost Missile Majig. Terra uses his tongue like a vine in order to hop from place to place. Design wise, I don't really like it put it in D. Next we have Tooth, who's a part of the Medis tribe. Tooth has a habit of pulling out everyone's teeth, whether they like it or not. Design wise, I give it a C. I mean, the Tooth Dennis missile is kind of generic. Okay, next is Vaka Waka. Vaka Waka first appeared in the episode, A Quest for the Lost Miss Majig, and is the leader of the Macho tribe. Waka is the top half, while Waka is the lower part, and they also had the ability to eat almost anything. Design wise, I go with neutral. All right, next is Vampos, who's a part of the Gloki's tribe. Vampos first premiered in the episode, Missile Moon Madness. He's described as a highly energetic sports enthusiast, despite his appearance, and also has a very relaxed and calming nature. Design wise, I give him a C. He looks better than his other tribe members, but still, the design is okay. Next we have Voletro, who's a part of the Electroid tribe, and first appeared in the episode, Cookie Roni. He's very hyper and really loves to throw parties. He has electric fingers that can electrocute anything he touches and can also create large beams. I would give him a B because I like the way his hairstyle looks. He looks like Frylock from Aqua Teen Hunger Force or that Fry guy from Steven Universe. All right, next is Volk, who's a part of the Infernites. In first appearing episode, Coco Napple. Volk has fire fingers that can light up anything he touches. I really like Volk, so I'm putting him on E. Next is Wiz Was who's a part of Wiz Tastics and first appearing episode Mert Romp. Wiz was is described to have a lovable and playful personality. His tail hood lets him hang from objects and he also has magical burps. Design wise, I give him a C. The next is Wuzzo, who's a part of the Weldo Missile Tribe and first appearing episode A Quest for the Lost Missile Majig. Wuzzo has terrible coordination and has an awkward personality. He's a chainsaw type missile. Design wise, I'm gonna go with B. Next we have Zaptor, who's a part of the Letroid Missile Tribe. In first appearing episode, Cookie Roni. Zaptor has a very quirky personality and has the ability to store large amounts of electricity into his body. As for design, I'm neutral on him. And lastly, Zorch. Zorch is a giant prankster and loves the bother of the missiles, but secretly he's a bit softy. He also has jet boosters on his back that he uses to blast fire out in order to move at a credible speed. If I'm just judging off design and not personality, I give him a C. Okay, there you have it, my missiles tier list.